Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to get full body haki just like this. This video has two different methods to get full body haki. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Plus, I recently hit 50,000 subscribers and I'm doing giveaways in my Discord server. All you have to do to enter is like this video, subscribe, and join my Discord server, where I host the giveaways. Let's get straight into the video. So, you want full body haki just like me on this account. Well, I got good news for you. I got two different methods for you to use. One is if you have a logia fruit like I do, which is light. And then one if you don't have a logia fruit. These are the timestamps for both of the methods. So the first method requires two things. One is for you to have a logia fruit, like light. This is a list of the current logia fruits in the game. Smoke, flame, ice, sand, dark, light, magma, rumble, blizzard, and technically also dough. If you have one of those fruits, then all you will need is to be on a computer as well. Because on a computer, you can go to your hotbar in Google and search up auto clicker. Go to the first link that pops up. It looks like this old website here, and all you have to do is press this button if you have a Windows computer, or this button if you have a MacBook, like an Apple MacBook. That will get you an auto clicker. Next, you want to head to the island that you can get the quests of. This could be the highest or second highest island you can reach. Because I am level 1565, I am going to the port island over here in the third sea. As you can see, if I go up to a pirate millionaire, he can't hit me because I have a logo fruit. So that's exactly why we need this. What you are wanting to do with your auto clicker once you open it is set the milliseconds to zero and then you look at what button it is to start and stop. Minimize the auto clicker, turn your haki on, go up to an enemy, grab your sword or your fighting style, preferably a sword with zero stats in it, and then press the button to start the auto clicker. As you can see, he is not dying fast, but that's very good because the more we hit him, the more Haki XP we get. So every single time we are hitting him, we get one single Haki XP. If I am to use my Deadly Rush, all of those tiny hits on him give one XP. Same with that. Same with this move. Same with this move and same with the single hit with the flying kick. You should use a sword that when you click does not move you forward at all, like Saber. The cool thing about an auto clicker is that because it's clicking for you, you won't be AFK and be kicked from the game after 20 minutes. So you'll be able to stay there all night long if you set it overnight or even for a week long if your server doesn't reset or no one kills you like you have a private server. Now some of you may be thinking, oh, well, don't you get banned if you use an auto clicker? And the truth is, no, you absolutely do not get banned if you use an auto clicker. You must be getting confused with something called auto farming. Auto farming is using exploits or hacks to farm and get levels. That is the people who fly above the NPCs, click in really fast, and then deleting them all again and again and again, teleporting everywhere, and getting the quests, and then doing it all again. Auto-clicking is only clicking really fast. The admins have specifically said that auto-clicking is not bannable at all, so don't worry about it. And it can get you haki fast, as well as tons of money. Now right now I don't have tons of money, but well, you can get tons of money. Now the next method is if you don't have a logia fruit. <laughs> I just got Buddha from Zeolus, so that's very nice. For the second method, 
what you'll need is a non Logia fruit. So anything that's not from the list that I mentioned earlier. Now what you're going to want to do is be in the first sea and then head over to the marine starting island, which is opposite the pirate starting island. All right, so here we are at the marine starting island. As you can see, all these NPCs are just spawned. So what you are going to want to do is make sure you are high enough level, as you can see I'm level 357, to go up to one of them, and when they hit you, instantly regen all of that health. If you can do that, then you can definitely do this method. So this method is, turn your haki on. Of course, because you need to turn your haki on to get haki XP. Then you go walk past this first trainee. Then you make him follow you to the second trainee. And then you bring them both to the third trainee, where you can bring them all into this corner to let them smack you up. Now, if you have your haki turned on, for every time they hit you, you get one haki XP. So, to make sure you don't go out of the corner just like that, you go into the chat, you go walk forward, hold the W key, and then in the chat, start typing. That way, if they hit you out of the corner, like that, you automatically walk straight back into the corner. This method is extremely easy and you don't need anything for it. To be honest, I'm not sure if you do or do not get kicked after 20 minutes, but a cool thing you can do is use the auto clicker like mentioned before and get your mouse, hover it over the text box here where you type stuff and then turn your auto clicker on. That way you keep walking straight into the corner of the wall and you can click once every couple minutes or couple seconds so that you don't get kicked from the game. A really good tip for this method is to do it in a private server. Actually this tip is really good for both methods. If you have access to a private server, I highly recommend using it just so no one randomly comes and kills you. If you made it this far into the video, go comment down below what type of haki you have. Is it only on your legs? Is it on your arms? Or do you already have full body haki? If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.